Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Cross to this uh, webinar, uh, which is on specifically ETP Ken funding. I hope by the end of this webinar, you'll know what Ken funding is, how to apply for that funding, and who you should talk to in our team, uh, you know, to get uh, an application moving. So. Just a bit of background for those of you who might not be familiar with ETP. ETP is an alliance of 14 Scottish uh, universities engaged in world-class energy-related research development and uh, with the facilities that, that, that go along with that. Um, what we're really trying to do in the KEN programme is open up that research capability to Scottish SMEs. So the essence of the programme is all about connecting Scottish SMEs who are developing new products and processes with those world-class researchers and facilities for projects that we fund. The KEN programme stands for Knowledge Exchange Network. Knowledge Exchange is the process, the modern process nowadays, nowadays for the connection of companies to universities where they're exchanging knowledge rather than knowledge being transferred just one way from the university. So there's a knowledge exchange in the projects that we fund where a company is maybe developing a new product and they need some extra technical or scientific expertise to solve a problem and both the university and the SME work together in that Ken uh, interaction. So Ken at its, at its widest level is a, a full program of, of knowledge exchange activities. And those include one-to-one um, -one business supports, meetings, events, collaborations. So I would advise both SME uh, parties and university members of staff to get involved, get involved with ETP, get involved with the Ken, let us know you're there. Um, it's, a, it's a very vibrant community and there's a lot of activity happening. And Ken is also a catalyst for accelerating good projects between academics and, and industry. And it's a fully connected part of the Scottish energy uh, landscape. Uh, and in fact, so much so that in the recent um, COP26 event, the Scottish government announced specifically that there will be a new Ken theme for hydrogen projects um, that, that will be starting very shortly. So we are connected into everything that's going on in the community. And I just repeat again that if you're either an SME member or an academic, connecting up with ETP is a good way to be connected into the wider energy community. The work that we fund is uh, possible by funding from the Scottish Government, Scottish Enterprise, Highlands and Islands Enterprise, and the 2014 to 220 European Structural and Investment Fund. So there are, there's European funding behind what we do. And it, and it means that some of the rules and regulations associated with our grants are governed by that. Um, so what is Ken funding? Well, it's a 10K grant, up to 10K um, for low carbon energy projects. Now, just in a minute, I'll tell you some of the specifics about what those projects might be. Um, but the very Bottom line is it has to be a low carbon energy project, not something else. We don't fund other things. We're, we're the Energy Technology Partnership. It's for projects between Scottish registered SMEs and the 14 partner universities that I mentioned before. And it's specifically for the development of new products and processes. We often get inquiries about uh, activity that may, for example, um, have an impact inside the company but that's not something we we can fund. We're we are funding those instances where there are new products or processes that are going to be developed, and then do, those new low-carbon products and processes are going to have impacts for the company and for the Scottish economy. So Ken projects must be about low-carbon products and process development, as I've just said. They must significantly reduce CO2 emissions and they must have direct commercial impact for both the company and the Scottish economy. I'm going to talk a wee bit in a, in a minute about the application process and what information we need. Those are the things that, that, that we're looking for. 
So knowledge exchange is that process between industry and academia, uh, supported by funds from the public sector. And the two blue bodies there are arguably, you know, the interface points between industry and academia. Um, and ETP has a team of business development managers, which I'll introduce you to uh, shortly. And those individuals are really at that connection point between industry and SME, uh, the SME uh, uh, body and the academic community. There are reckoned to be over 350,000 registered SMEs in Scotland and there are over 800 energy researchers. So it's a very uh, dynamic, widespread, active community. And the role of the business development managers is to provide connections between those um, I've always observed it must be a very daunting prospect for a single SME to approach either a single university or let alone a community of 800 researchers and, and know who to talk to and you know what to be saying to them. So there's a very vital role there for our business development managers in channeling those communications and make sure they work and getting you to the right person uh, you know, at the right time. This is our business development managers. The slide is very busy and it's got a lot of acronyms uh, in it, uh, which we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but you can see from this slide that uh, we've got, our business development managers are normally based in another host university. If you look at uh, the first one there, ECS, Liam McCarran uh, hosted at St. Andrews University, but he works in energy conversion and storage for the 14 universities that are described and the others do the same job for their particular uh, energy theme for the 14 universities. So at this point, rather than me going through all of these uh, individual themes, uh, I'll just let the individuals themselves introduce themselves and uh, you get to put a face to the name. So if we can start with you, Liam. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, so I, my name is Liam McCarran. I am ETP's business development manager for the energy conversion and storage team, and I'm based up at St Andrews on the Eden campus there. So, in the ECS team, we typically work with companies and academics in the energy storage, uh, bioenergy, and solar sectors. But thanks. Do get in touch if you're working in these areas or considering moving into them. Okay. Cheers. Tom. Is Tom here? No, Tom's not here. Okay, Natasha. Hi there, I'm Natasha Madura. I'm the Business Development Manager for Energy Systems, and I'm also part sponsored by the Energy Systems Catapult. Um, so I cover a, the, the sort of a, the broadest uh, definition of energy systems. So a whole systems approach to energy systems um, and energy transition, the integration of all the energy technologies and all the systems or systems that need to support that. So it's quite a broad range, but um, anything weird and wonderful or anything that you're looking um, to, to explore will um, can discuss and can support you in the development of, of um, the technology or service. Thank you. Thanks, Natasha. Uh, Chris? Um, hi there, um, I'm Chris Grattan. Um, I'm the ETP Business Development Manager for Marine Energy. Uh, I'm based in Edinburgh Uni, working with uh, Edinburgh Innovations, which is a commercialization arm um, of the university. Um, yeah, so basically all things uh, covered by marine energy, but with particular focus on, on wave and tidal energy converters. Um, the facilities at Edinburgh are, 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 are pretty good. We have access to um, you know, like the academic community as as well as the rest of the ETP academic community um, and their um, test facilities um, on campus and in Rosslife as well. Thanks, Chris. Anna-Marie? Uh, hi, everyone. So my name is Anna-Marie Gillespie and I'm the Heat BDM for, for ETP. Um, and uh, as a shared resource, I also work for Construction Scotland Innov Innovation Centre uh, for their sustainability um, team. Uh, so obviously any projects related to heating and cooling, um, uh, please uh, get in touch with me. 
Thanks, Anna-Marie. William. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm William Monteith, and I'm the Business Development Manager focusing on the Power Network Grid theme. Um, so that covers anything under energy distribution and infrastructure, including power network integration and, and smart grid technologies. Um, I'm based in Strathclyde, um, so if you've got any interest in projects, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks. Stephanie. Uh, hi, yeah, I'm Stephanie Mann. I'm um, the Wind Business Development Manager. I'm also based um, out of the ORE Catapult, Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. Um, so I am very happy to work with any projects related to wind um, that could be onshore or offshore. Um, I also have quite a lot of specialism and knowledge in um, kind of novel wind technologies. So that might be airborne wind or multi-water systems or vertical axis systems. Um, so yeah, please get in touch with, with me about any of your wind needs. Thanks. Thanks, Stephanie. Alex? Uh, hi, everyone. Alex Reid, and I'm the BDM for Zero Emission Mobility or Transport. As you can see in the slide, the road is funded by Transport Scotland. And I'm linked to Aberdeen University. Uh, really, if you're interested in routes to decarbonising uh, various aspects of transport, that could be a, a component, subcomponent level, or indeed the fuels, uh, replacing diesel, petrol, fossil fuels with um, batteries or hydrogen, for example, then these are all areas that are very much in scope. And I'm happy to chat with you further about. Thanks for that. So those are the people that you can pick up dialogue with. And as I said, the business development managers play a very vital role in the connection between SMEs and university uh, researchers. So um, in the case of an SME who's got a product or process that they know fits with one of these particular energy themes, uh, they would pick up some dialogue with that BDM and then that BDM will help them to identify and talk with um, university researchers that, that have got the right expertise to uh, take discussions further forward. So in this brief webinar, we've discussed what the Ken funding is. It's a 10K grant that can be applied for jointly by an SME and a university partner. Um, we know that the process involves um, the parties actually talking to a theme business development manager and that business development manager then will help them go through the process. So how do you apply for this uh, funding? Um, you apply by completing a form, obviously. Um, the good thing about uh, ETP's Ken funding, though, is unlike quite a range of other funding schemes, um, the role of the business development manager uh, is to actually help with the process. So the business development manager is there to work with both parties to make sure that in completing the application, they understand what's required from the form. Now, it's a single form. Yes, there are quite a number of pages in it. And yes, there's quite an, a bit of information that we gather, but it should be relatively straightforward and certainly with the help of BDMs. And then I think the thing that, that is really most important is once we have a completed application form, and if that application form uh, meets the requirement and is submitted for approval, the decision is given within one week. So it's not a long waiting time. Uh, and, and it means that, you know, putting the effort in to make the application, getting the, the, the thing submitted, um, there's a quick decision comes back and you could have the funding set up and the project read, ready to go in a relatively short space of time. And I think that's one of the key benefits of this. The individuals introduced themselves there, the, the BDMs. Um, so who do you speak to? Well, the, the individual staff contact details are available through this web link. Um, we'll, we'll circulate that out um, you know, with the, the slides. Um, so you just pick up dialogue with the BDM. Now you can do that on the basis of, hi, I'm an SME, I've got a project. Remembering, of course, that the project must be a low carbon energy project and it must be something that's going to have commercial impact for you. It can't be, we would like to understand the physical properties of hydrogen, for example. Yes, I know that's a, a useful thing to be able to do, but it needs to be, if we understood the physical properties of hydrogen, we can develop a product that can do X or Y, and then we can take that to the market. So that's it. It's got to be something that's commercializable. So 
you identify the BDM, you speak to them, they will then connect you up with an academic partner, or indeed, if you're an academic partner that says, look, we've got some interesting technology here, um, can we find out if there are any businesses out there that would be interested in exploiting that? We can, we can do it that way as well. So making those connections, making them work, and then what we're trying to do in those early discussions is focus down on a project that we should be able to fund. Now, just for coming back to the funding, the funding that's available is up to 10K. Most of the projects are at that level. That 10K is money that's converted into staff salary cost in the university. So the SME doesn't get a check for 10K. They get 10K's worth of buying power with our chosen university. And the chosen university then scopes out who's going to be carrying out work, what that work is and how much it's going to cost up to the value of 10K. So that's, that's us told you about the Ken programme, how to apply, who to talk to. And final thing to say on that, just before I mention our doctorate programme, is that we're coming to the point now for this particular round of ETPs funding that any projects now for them to be approved would really need to be submitted before the end of this year. Um, so it's really up to you know, the middle of December um, that we're looking for completed applications to come in. Um, so that, that's, that's the deadline. Um, simply because it's just about to launch, I thought I'd also mention ETP's other key programme, which is our um, Energy Industry Doctoral Programme. The call is opening on the 13th, uh, the 30th of November. So this is a funded PhD call. So ETP puts funding on the table to sponsor, part sponsor a PhD between any size of company, SME, large company, international company, and again, researchers from our academic community. And, and the link that's on this slide will take you to uh, the webpage that tells you all about that. So at this point, I would just ask if there have been any questions through chat that, that we need to address just now, or if anybody would like to pose any questions just now, please do so. No. Well, on that basis then, uh, I'd just like to say to anybody that might be thinking about an application, please do get in touch with the relevant BDM, start the conversation soon, and um, hopefully we can get an application in and approved and the project will be up and running very quickly. So if there are no further points, then let's leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining, and uh, I hope you do manage to get an application. Thank you.